This exhibition has been like a kind of laboratory for me to think about what kind of stories we tell about history, what kind of stories we tell about objects and the way objects are made and pass from one person to another, and the way objects, artworks, become the carriers of meaning and of stories. And I think I wondered what would happen if you made this gallery space a kind of laboratory, a place where you made an experiment, where you made all of these connections and you put all these things together. And you ask yourself the question, do these connections matter? Hello, I'm Catherine Kraft. I'm a curator at the Nasher Sculpture Center. Welcome to Nasher Mixtape. I had initially planned a couple of installations of the permanent collection for the summer 2020 before the COVID-19 pandemic shut things down. It became increasingly apparent that the best thing to do was just to postpone everything and take the opportunity to have a look at the permanent collection. The title, Nasher Mixtape, is actually due to our wonderful uh, Lucia Simic, director of media, because when I told her all the underlying ideas behind all these different little installations, that's what she said it reminded her of. I think one of the things that really is striking to me about art, visual art, is that it, it presents this kind of condensed physical manifestation, uh, this kind of place to put or meditate upon certain ideas or feelings that are otherwise difficult to bring into focus. And I think at the bottom, that's really what I wanted this installation to do. One person loves another. You buy them a gift. They buy you a gift. You keep those things, you live with them. Someone comes into your home, looks at the gift. They don't know the story unless you tell them. And somehow that story is still there to be discovered by somebody else. And I have to think somehow those stories accrue in some way. And during these months, especially in the summer, during the Black Lives Matter protests, whose stories are being told and whose histories are being remembered, those are the questions that I think we have to keep asking. What stories are worth telling? What stories are worth remembering? 